safe zones, it would seem like a, an experienced surgeon would already know these safe zones, but is it a matter of consistent education where as the equipment changes as well, because there's right. constantly new equipment coming in here, you have to learn a different safe zone for your different patients using the new material that you have. Yes, I mean, so part of it is the equipment, and but part of it is still, you know, uh, uh, the the knowledge of the anatomy. Y you would think that the surgeons will have that knowledge of anatomy, and they, and they do, but oftentimes it's viewed from a perspective of everything is opened up. So it's almost like if you're standing on top of a mountain, you're looking down, right? That you're used to that view. But uh, you may not be used to the view when you're looking at it topically, when you're looking at it at the skin level. So it's really uh, understanding, let's say, where these structures are in relation to each other from a different viewpoint. So uh, the anatomy stays the same, right? You're almost talking about touch and feel in, in, in many ways. It's still, no matter how technologically advanced we become, a surgeon still has to have that innate touch and feel to be able to work within the human body. A lot of it is, yes, it is touch and feel. Like where does the fibula bone, the outer bone of your ankle, where is that in relation to the heel bone, the calcaneus? Um, we can feel them, right? But to know, let's say, the landmarks, the, knowing their landmarks, to be able to make an accurate, let's say, um, cut, if you needed to, let's say, uh, without, um, you know, hitting anything that we need, that we want to avoid. Those are the important relationships that oftentimes uh, they're not seeing it from that view. Once again, they're seeing it from an open view. So uh, a lot of this is the advancement of their thinking of, of these relationships uh, uh, between each other and then also knowing how to use this new equipment and knowing how to, uh, uh, like I said, get around things that you need to avoid.